Oh yeah. Uh, uh, feels good. Feels good. Guys and dolls, it's your girl Songbird. Dante Black. And we are back for another episode of your favorite internet show. Tell me what the name of it is. This is Pole Opposite, the Melanin Edition. No weird voice. Okay. Uh, not today. <laughs> All right. So, as always, we have to say welcome to our new subscribers. If this is your first time watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. The ding down at the bottom, right beside the subscription button, so that you're notified every time a new episode pops up. And for our returning opposite fam, what's up, y'all? Thanks for coming back. We appreciate everybody. We appreciate all our fans, um, all the people that support us. Um, we don't care what your walk of life is, whether you, you're a police officer. Black, white, yellow, Puerto Rican, or Asian. Or Rip Booty on. We don't really care what it is. What? As long as you support us, we appreciate you. Alright, you know, I'm getting to this topic for today. Should ex felons have the right to vote? And yes, I believe that ex felons should have the right to vote because they have paid their debt to society. And they should have all of their rights restored. Yes, I understand that they did something bad, believe me, but they've been reprimanded for that. Why would they not be able to voice their opinion or give their opinion on something so as important as voting for our next commander in chief? Um, I say that also because I have plenty of felons in my family and they have lost their right to vote. I feel like it should be everyone. If you live in the United States, it is your civic duty to vote in every election that you are able to vote in. And that means for everyone that's 18 and older, of course, because you, if you are younger than 18, you cannot vote. So if you are over the age of 18 and you live in the United States, I feel that it is your duty to vote. And regardless of whatever has happened in the past, Whatever is going on in your life, that should be something that everyone is required to do. That's just my opinion. Now, my opinion is somewhat the same. Um, I, I really don't understand the correlation between felons and voting. I don't understand why they can't. I think that that's completely stupid. Um, you went to jail, you did your time, paid your debt to society, you should be able to vote if you choose to. Now, as far as it being a uh, requirement and all that, it should be optional like anything else it should be optional whether or not you vote everything's not or you necessarily don't. optional well i think voting should be optional you should have the option to whether you choose to or you don't i shouldn't have to vote um to pick one or the other or just vote to just say i'm not picking either I, if i don't want to vote i shouldn't have to well I'm gonna and say this, a lot of people who do feel that way if they um don't feel that they want to vote when shit don't go the way that you want it to go, don't say nothing about it because you did not help the okay. situation. Don't say anything about it. Now we don't. Now, now I'm glad you addressed that. So now let me go ahead and um, address that truth. It don't matter who you vote for. It don't matter what's being voted. The all, every vote election for president is rigged. Every last one. Oh, of course. So of it course. doesn't matter who you vote for. Boy, you can five. go in there. You can go in there. You can vote for. A rock outside. It doesn't matter. Yeah. They have in their pocket who's going to be the president. So your vote really doesn't matter. Don't get don't get put into this 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 I guess this box that your vote counts. Your vote matters. That's it does not matter. If you look at the election we just had, Hillary Hillary Clinton won with the popular vote, but Donald Trump still won in the electoral college, which is what counts. The electoral college, which is full of whole bunch of white people, rich white people, that 1%, those are the ones that are voting for our president. So we can have all the numbers in the world. Hillary can get absolutely 100% of every state. But if Donald Trump had the the 270 for the Electoral College, there's no way she could have won anyways. There's no way. Like I say, all of the all of these elections are rigged. Y'all need to understand. That's a lot. They, they already have... 
Listen, when I tell you that he's a rich, I'll go ahead and I'm sorry. A lot of y'all that follow um, Dick Gregory, a lot of y'all that follow him, he has this newspaper that he used to carry around with him when he was alive. And, well, he didn't carry around everywhere, but he would take it to certain speeches. And in that newspaper that was printed, he ran for president. A lot of people didn't know that. He ran for president, and they printed that he won. They printed, yeah, yeah, the paper printed out that he won. But it was a mistake. Once they caught the mistake, they recanted it, and then they said that the other person won. But he still has the newspaper that stated that he originally won. So if they send a message saying that he won, and they start printing out the paperwork, how can they overturn it and say that someone else won? Because it's all rigged. Understand that. They're going to put who they want in that chair for whatever their agenda is at that point. So... I still don't get the correlation between just because you committed a crime, you shouldn't be able to vote. That that means absolutely nothing. Just because you did something bad, that means that, hey, I, I can't say who who should be the next president. That's dumb. That is the dumbest shit ever. That makes no sense. I don't know who came up with that, but if you a felon and you watching this and you can't vote, you ain't missing out on nothing. Also, let me add that too. Um, there are some laws that are changing. So if you have served your time and your um, it's been a statute of limitation, if it's been over 10 to 15 years since that felon was in effect, I believe that you can have your rights ex or you can have that felon expunged and your rights can be restored. Um, believe me, I'm, I'm still in the process of looking at this as well, so please don't quote me on that, but also look into that. If you do feel like your vote can help, help some, not if you feel like your vote can help some and you are a felon and you do want your rights restored and it's been quite some time, then look into that. And if you find anything out, please let us know, or at least let me know. It's because like I said, this is something... What? It's between eight to ten years, you guys. Um, I think it's more so ten years, but basically, yeah, I think it you know, is. You have to wait that, and then you have to reapply for your rights. Once you reapply for your rights, you get it. You get whatever felony, you get it expunged, whatever the case may be, and then you can vote. You can get your firearms and all that other stuff. Um, yeah, you just have to look into it. But at the end of the day, uh, it, it's not going to matter. Like, don't let these people gas you up to think that voting matters. It really doesn't matter. And when it's when it's dealing with the um, president. Now, if you're talking about city councils and small things like that, then yeah, you, you probably had a better chance of voting in that and then getting the person in that you want. But when you're talking about the president of the United States, you might as well go ahead and vote for fucking Donald Duck because it ain't going to happen. You know, I guess you can see where he, his stance is on voting. Yeah, because that's who the hell they wanted in there. Why the fuck would they put Hillary in there? They don't want her to be the first woman president. She, she, I think Michelle Obama would be a bomb president. I think, to be honest with you, I would rather see her as the first female president, but Michelle love fights and she likes she get in a fight on the damn front lawn with somebody and I punch them in they shit. No, she's a guy with too much class for that. Don't you, don't you do my first lady like that. Listen, like I said, listen, I know black females and I know black people. Obama. He was he was just cool. Like he was just cool. I would shit. absolutely love to see Michelle Obama's cabinet. Oprah would be there. Gail would be there. Yeah, Gail. Lupita yeah. Nyong'o. Yeah. Let's see who else. But um, yeah, but Angela yeah. Bassett. But here's here's the thing. Like she she's one of like she showed like her little feistiness here and there. And so you want somebody that got that little bit of fire. But she got classy. some fire. Yeah, it, it was is. classy. It, it, yeah, it's classic. And you don't necessarily have to call it feistiness. It's passion. Passion, yeah. And that's the thing that people get it mixed up with. It's not feisty. It's not angry black woman syndrome. That's passion. Please stop referring to it as the angry black woman syndrome. Because that's not what it is. I don't think nobody said that, bro. You said that. Anybody said that. I said feisty. I wasn't talking about you, though. Okay, cool. Again... Passion, not feisty or angry black women. Or rolling your eyes. Nah, you gonna get a couple of them. Cause those are silent. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's all you can be is silent eye rollers. <laughs> all right, y'all. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, tag a friend, tell a friend about this video. Songbird. Okay. I'm Songbird.